All right, guys. So, what are we gonna learn today? Um, what was yours called? Data storage devices. Okay, data storage, different types of storage. All right, so let's start with our favorite thing, right? Cassette player. We talked about this a couple of times, right? All right, so let's start with that first. And so what's inside the cassette player is a cassette and it has a data, right? I mean, the simple concept is that the when you play, what's being played is stored in the cassette, right? In, a, in the magnetic, magnetic uh, strip, right? And uh, we talked about this before that when you put in the cassette player, uh, when you play it, it's gonna start rolling and that's how you get the sound, right? But the data is in the cassette using a, the magnetic, right? Magnetic strip, all right. So that so was a cassette. Just binary numbers. Um, yeah, that's, all right. So let's understand the concept. There is a concept of uh, analog and digital. So this cassette are more analog. Analog means it's, uh, using um, magnetic or you know uh, things like that versus digital it has more like a zeros and one and computer kind of translate that uh, and trying to get you like sound and all that uh, so those are all digital this is another right all right so we looked at that uh, cassette player and uh, we looked at this cassette then is it this cassette it's the same thing but this used to people use for taking uh, notes and uh, doing interviews and stuff like that. So it was a smaller um, recording device and this is what they used to use. All right. All right, so we got this too. All right, then moving up next, we have another a data giant. storage. Giant. Now, hmm? it's called giant thing. It's not really giant. I mean, this used to be a normal. Now, of course, it looks giant because your devices are smaller, your memory cards are smaller. But let's uh, let's talk about this first. So, in order to open, I'm, I gotta push something on the side here, and then you open it up, and you can see what's what's in here. Um, magnetic. Yep, as same as cassette. Magnetic. Magnetic, oh, ma uh, magnetic strip, right? Magnetic strip. So that was a cassette player. Those four cassette player. This is for video, recording videos. So you can play this in uh, something called VCR, right? It was a video player. Cassette player was an audio player. This is a video player, you know, for video player. And you say exact same concept, right? You got two wheels, you got this, you know, the long um, strip and, uh, you know, you, when this spins, this side will get emptied this side, right? The, everything will come this side. And then you can kind of go back and rewind again and start over. This one doesn't have two sides. If this one had like, you know, you go one side and then once it's done, you can go side B. This is only one side. So the maximum, I uh, used to be like really small and then it was like um, 30 minutes, then 60 minutes, and then it was 90 minutes. At one point it was 120 minutes long. So 120 minutes is uh, two hours. Exactly. So it's like two hours. You can actually fit two hours movie in this. And we used to watch movie on this. Right? All right. So moving on. So we got a few things. up. This is all analog, right? All right. You want to switch to digital? Yes. So yeah. I'll talk about two things here. I'll, I'll show you a couple of different things. Right? Uh, first one is all right let's open it this is called usb drive or flash drive or pen drive there are or many a, different or a thumb drive thumb drive yeah many different names right so what Balance this does drive. is stores yeah stores memory in the dig digital form so it has a tiny tiny transistors and it convert into zeros and one in the stores right it's called binary yeah, Binary exactly. Numbers. All right, let me open it up and a little each, more. And each eight um, mm. zeros and ones equals one byte. Yeah, we'll and, get into that uh, later on. And two um, and two zeros and ones equal a bit. Mm, that's right. All right. 
so this one I'm trying to read it and see how big is the memory stick um, I believe it's written somewhere here it was pretty tiny I think it was 32 megabyte uh, oh actually it's right here 100 and, I don't know if you can see it but it's 128 megabytes so it's still um, back then it was really I mean, considered large this one it's a company called SanDisk and they used to call memory sticks, right? They're bigger than these memory cards now. Yeah, so this is a memory card. This is what? Two gigabyte, right? This came after, before it was this one, memory sticks. People used to use it in a computer, also in cameras, many different applications, but it was only 64 megabytes. This one is 128 megabytes, but in in, um, in the past, this used to co cost about like hundred plus dollars. It was really really now, expensive, right? Now it's like we'll get into that too. I'll show you like you know compared to this. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. Probably like twenty. This one? No. You can't even um, find this small enough. You know? Like these types, yep. new ones. Okay. Like All right. Now. Let's talk about this too. So this is memory stick. This is memory card. card. Uh. In every generation, there was always comparison. Always, there are com different company comes up with a different things, and then at one point they have debate, they have conference, and they decide decide the standards. So in this case, the standard became cards. This kind of gone. It's you can't find it. It's no longer in a, in a business. Uh, the company is in a business. But now, in, like they stopped making this kind of uh, memory cards. They might have past ones, like. Yeah. So same thing happened here too. Uh, VHS, there's a video cassette player, also had different uh, standard, like two was two different standard. But this become more uh, 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 golden standard versus other other formats. Or popular. Yeah. Uh, in this case, this became more popular. It's a uh, digital card. Uh, this card more and more popular. So it's a two gig. All right, let's fast, fast forward a little bit. All right, then um, they started making uh, the memory card more dense, like they start putting more register in, uh, transistors inside, right? Uh, they used to use web called wafers. Um, and then they started making more and more progress. So we got 16 gigabyte, right? And then we got like 32 gigabyte, right? It's all different format. All right, and uh, just to show you that, so we open one and just to see what's inside uh, it's probably I don't know if you can see but let's try all right see there you go so it's just a cover right and this look at how thin it is right so this was about I think four gig or something like that I don't have the, the top part all right then all right so we are talking about that's right right so this is 4 gig flash drive, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Alright, so you see, same concept, you got your memory, right? So it's, it's a lot of transistors kind of uh, smashed into really tiny space, right? Okay, so this is digital again. Now let's also see, um, before we get, get into bigger uh, space flash drive. Let's look at this. You know what is this? Uh, USB player. Yep. So. Just that. Hmm. Just that. It's USB player, but you always have to think about. You know, whenever you have a storage, there's also application. So this is one of the applications. Like for this one, this is storage, but on top of that, it's a custom has an audio. This has a video. So same thing here. This this one this is called MP3 player. This used to be let's see if there's anywhere. Uh, doesn't say exactly how big it, but I I believe it was about 64 megabyte. It's really tiny, but it's portable. You can plug it in your computer or anywhere where you have charger. You charge it up, then you take it out, and then there you go. You you play your music. So you store your music in, in here as well, and that's how you play. You can play and store. Yeah, but and you have a headphone that you can connect, and then you can listen. All right. And uh, before we get to the flash drive, 
let's look at this. You know where is this? I'll show you a couple different things so you can a see. A bucket CDR. This, this one right. a bucket CDR. Yes, that's that's what it, because it says pocket CDR. This used to store 185 megabyte or 21 minutes of music, right? So this is just like a cassette player. You can use it. Uh, you can uh, they used to call uh, call burn. So you burn on your computer. So you plug it in in your you know on a CD player, mm -hmm. and then you can write it using your computer. Uh, depends on what you have, mm -hmm. what yeah. application you use to burn it. Exactly. So that's 185 85. megabyte. Then comes this. Okay. A CD. This is 700 megabytes. God. Right? It's a lot more than that. A lot more than any of this. But Probably like 600 something more than that. Yeah. Uh, it's smaller than, for example, this. A lot smaller than this is 32 gigabyte. This is 700 megabytes, right? The size of this is much smaller than this. The space. Space, yeah. It, yeah. Now, the next one is, so this this was for audio, right? You can also do video, but you can only like store maybe 20, 30 minutes of the video. The songs, you can put a lot of songs. Now, you can have in the different formats, MP3 player, you know, MP3 format or different, you know, uh, if you use the standard format, then it's only like 10 songs or 12 songs. But if you use a MP3, you can probably put 300, 400 songs in it. And you can take it in your car and uh, you can play it. Okay, now, oh, we got this one too. I forgot about this. See, it's also the Pocket CD, but it's CDRW. You know what that means? What does W mean? So, if you have just the R, that means you can actually write it once and that's it. But if you are RW, that means it's a rewritable. So, so you, can, you can actually write If it. you accidentally write the wrong thing mm -hmm. in there, you can um, undo that and like... Yep, look at the difference in color. This one's more darker. Yep. This one's more light. Yeah, so this one has more layers, so you can uh, rewrite uh, many, many, many times. This is only one time. And one time and done. Done. Okay. And if you mess up on this, it's, it's done. done. That's it. Uh, same thing here. This one time. And this is DVD. See again? DVD, DVD R. R. Only one time. One time. Now, um, this one stores 4.7 gigabyte. It's big, right? Alright, and look at the color. You can also tell if it's... Uh, empty or it has some information by just kind of if you tilt it see the color difference yeah if it's a blank this might be blank so see it's all shining but there's no color difference over here there's a color difference all right so this is 4.7 gigabyte or you can put 120 minutes of video and two hours two hours what else can store two hours? The exactly. um, video v cassette player. V video cassette. VC. Yeah. It's a, v a four VCR. We'll get in the acronyms later on. You know, we'll maybe put in the link or something. Our uh, description. All right. So this is 120 minutes or 4.7 gigabyte. Now, fast forward ring to this. It's the same thing, but you see there's a difference in the color. So this one is DVD, is DVD plus, plus R. R. So this one has a dual layer. You know what that do then? Yeah, dual layer will how make the same size of C, uh, uh, DVD, so it'll double the space. So this one is 8.5 gigabyte versus this one is 4.7 gigabyte, right? So this one can store up to 240 minutes of video. 240? Three or four hours? Four, four hours. hours. Four hours. So there you go. Double the time. You basically have to double the times everything in here. Yep. All right. Then, so we always talk about applications, right? So this is all like we kind of been talking about music. Right? And videos. Right. But you also have cameras. So you, for a camera too, you need a memory. 
memory card. Right. It used yes. to be a roll that's more like this, uh, kind of magnetic. So you take a picture and it will store as analog. Nowadays, everything is digital. So in this, the digital part is right here. Open it up. The right. card. Push it in. Take it out. All right. So what's in it? Let's see. Before we take it out, let, let's just look at the with the cover. All right, let's let's open it. All right, you see it? This is just the adapter, and this is actually memory card, right? You know how big? Twenty-eight gigabytes. Right. Look at compared to what we have here. What is this? Two gigabytes. Look at the size difference. This one's bigger. This one's smaller. But this one has more space than this one. Exactly. Probably has like, I don't know, this more than 10 times. This can this store a few days worth of videos or even more. Right? So we gone from, look at the technology, right? We gone from like the analog, digital, the more space, more space. And then we kept, came to a point where it's a really, really tiny thing, really thin, right? Uh, they still have to use the adapter because you can actually lose this tiny piece, you know. Uh, and there's a lot of cameras and stuff still use the kind of bigger card. So that's why we have that. All right. One thing I didn't show you, I think you asked me a couple of times before. Uh, offline you asked me. Uh, who is this side thing? Right? You've been asking? All right. You know what happens when, you, when I do that? Mm -mm. Okay, so we talked about the CDs like you can only write once and that's it. Like there's all these memory cards you can, you know, you can store, you can delete, you can re, you know, put something. So it's kind of, there's endless. When you put this, it's called lock. Yeah. It locks it, right? So that, if you have something it. really, really important, right, you want to lock it. So if you accidentally put this in your computer and if you try to delete it, you won't delete it. It will stop you from deleting anything or even writing even more stuff. It just lock it. That's it. Small, tiny thing, but has a big, big application to save big your difference. Yeah, save your data. All right. Since we're talking about you know all the flash drive, I got a couple more just to show you the difference. All right. This is 64 gigabyte. All right. Uh, I believe this is also 64 gigabyte. But the difference between this and this uh, is look at the one side. And you can go in look at the other phone side. or computer. Exactly. Depends now, on what phone you have. Now, we didn't uh, talk about one thing is, so this was the old one is, this is called USB, more like a 1.0. Right? Then, it's time, kind of, let's see what, oh yeah, there you go. So this was 1.0, this is called 2.0, and you'll see the color, uh, this color difference, there's, it's the same, but there's no difference. But, this one, you'll start seeing some difference. You see something? Has a black, and this one is blue. So all the blue ones, all the blue one, it's called USB 3.0. So between 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0, there is a huge difference in the data transfer speed. Right? It will take a lot, lot longer to write on this versus this. It goes really, really fast. This you can do about like, um, I don't know, four gigabytes per minute or yeah. per minute? We'll get into that. I'll show you all the different uh, transfer speed. All right. So we talked about all the flash drives and all that. Let's move on to the bigger space. All right. So this is called hard a drive. passport size hard drive. Oh. Right. This came actually a little bit later. Before that, we had something like this, right? And I'll show you one from computer, actually. So, all right. Remember the other day we had a computer? Mm. And uh, we opening up, so this is hard drive from there. Now this one has, let's see, where is it? Right here. You see? It's 40, giga 40 gigabyte, right? Okay. Think about it, this one is 40 gigabyte. This one is 256 gigabyte. Look at the size difference. You know why? Because inside this, it has a moving part. So it's a digital, 
but it has Mo something like this, right? Moving parts have like... Um, it has a sl slower speed because it slower doesn't... Slower speed. Yeah. Plus, these things um, don't have anything moving. Like, mm. They don't have a um, thing to move the whatever is inside. The data, yeah. Data. Yeah, this one is literally, will you know, uh, one day we'll open, it, open this up and see what's inside, right? But there's a, something like this. There's a, a moving part and then there's a head that's kind of touching it and reading the information. Okay, that's so that's cool. a 40 gigabyte. And let's say this one. This is also 40 gigabyte. Mm -hmm. Just a different in, uh, uh, different uh, computer has different hard drives. Right, so those are 40 gigabytes. This one. 40 also, right? I forgot. It's not written here, but it's it's called passport size. All right. Now, so hard drive also has kind of different types. So this one called ATA hard drive. This one called, I believe it's STA. So has a look at this 500 gigabytes a lot more right this is okay. 256 500 gigabytes this is yep. 256 more than this yeah because this is new right um not, not that new it's probably four four or five years old okay 2016 right. 15 16 yeah now i want to i want to also to understand or learn a bit about so what's inside of this is more like a similar to what we have in laptops okay so let me show you the difference first this is called 2.5 this different size right so this is called 2.5 hard drive this is called 3.5 hard drive just like in a floppy drive right we were talking about the other day that there's a what? two type of floppy drives what is this that's a usb no i mean like does it count as a hard drive? No, it's the 3.0 USB drive. Oh. This one, look at this. There is no USB. It connects directly in the computer. Same thing here, right? Look at this. It goes directly in the computer. There's a lot of pins. Okay. All right. Let, let me show you. Um, let's open one computer. Let's see. All right. We open up a little bit. Take the screws out just to show you. This is a laptop, right? Now, laptop also has two types of memory. This memory is for computer to run. This doesn't store anything. Okay, this is just a, it's it's a more like a solid uh, memory. All right. This one is two gigabyte. Same as this one. Yes, but this has different application. This is this is not meant to store anything. This is meant for computer, computer to run faster and process all the data faster. So it has a two of them, right? So it's two here, two here. So it's what four all together. All right. So let's put it back. It's easy to put it back. See, right here, and you push it, and you're done. Now, what do you think? Where is the hard drive? Hard drive probably here. Alright. You think it's a hard drive? What it says here? DVD and the, um, the RW disk and stuff. Alright, so what do you think? Guess. What can you do here? Play these, these and stuff. Yeah, you can play and you can write using this. What? Alright. Alright, so let me show you where's the hard drive. Is it to spark? You like to look at this side. First of all, look at the size. It's, it's more like a 2.5. And also has like fans and everything kind of near. To let because this cool. also get hot, so it has to cool down. Oh. Oh, there you go. Oh, this wall. There you go. Look at how big is it? Five. No, no. 320 oh. gigabyte. I thought I read 500. No, it's 320 gigabyte. Still long. But if we open up this, and what we hand computer is pretty much same. This one is portable, so you can take it anywhere, you can store data and right. This one is meant for only inside the computer. You just keep it there and that's it. 
not supposed to touch it. Yeah, you're not supposed to touch it. You're not supposed to take it out. Uh, it has all the computer here. programming inside. And here's inside. the um, thing that moves, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's just the, the middle part that makes it move, but the inside there is actually a bigger, a bigger. bigger disc. Right? And it has a head on top of that. So head is the way to read it. Remember head in here? When we had a cassette, in order to read it, when you start the cassette player, it has a head that will come down and read it. Same thing here. There's a different, it's a digital, but is uh, meant same way. Okay, let's put it back. I have one more question about yeah. this. What is the part with the disc? What is this for? When you push this, mm -hmm. it opens. What is this for? All right. So, sometimes what happens is that you have a disc inside and it fails. Like this computer, let's say if it fails and if you cannot get it out and you cannot do anything, then you got to do something to take it out. So, this house to take it out. This is called CD player or DVD player. Also, you know, this one's particular one can write, actually it has a DVD writer too in it. Then how, how will you open it to get the CD? Now, you can take a small pin and push it inside here and you will open it up. But if you don't have a pin? Then good luck. I'm pretty sure you will have a pin. All right. Okay. All right, so one or two last things. Uh, just quickly, phone. Do you think phone has memory? Yeah, of course. Right? How will Not every phone up? can open. This particular one can open it up. So we'll just try to do that. Oh, God. Really gently. Okay. Now, it's really hard to spark memory card here. Where is it? Because it's inbuilt. It's called inbuilt memory. So it could be right behind it, it could be right behind underneath this. Um, you can take it out, I mean, you can do a lot of things to kind of figure it out where, but that's probably not my area to... Um, do it. Yeah, because it's really tiny parts and we need tiny screwdrivers and uh, we probably need a microscope um, as well to kind of look through everything. All right? We still have one. Yeah. All right, last thing. We, we've been talking about megabyte, more like analog, then we talked about gigabytes, digital. we talked about more gigabytes, right? And digital things, yeah. analog things. Yeah. I mean, hard drive had, um, like this hard drive particular where it has about 500 gigabyte. What do you think? Guess. How big is this? How much memory you can store? How much memory? We, 240. We, 240 what? Gigabytes. Gigabyte. All right. Am I correct? Let me surprise you. This one has something like this with really, really high capacity. This one can store 4 terabyte. Terabyte? Yes. Is that more than gigabyte? Yeah, a lot more than. We'll get into, I'll show you the whole chart of, you know, megabyte, then gigabyte, then terabyte, then Better drive, right? And still it goes on and on. This one, uh, it's not even latest, like four gigabyte, this was four years ago. Four terabyte, right? I mean, now you can still, like, you know, in these days, you can probably get like 12 terabyte. All right, let's not take that out. That? <laughs> uh, so that's it. I think that concludes our video today. It's plastic, right? Yeah, that's just a plastic. All right, what did you learn? Uh, how um, data store the devices store everything and like run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and basically a evolution of all these types of devices and the memory. Uh, we used to have a really small size. Uh, we had an analog, then got into digital, and <laughs> oh god, this is really hard. Yeah, that that we is there to protect because now you got to think like you know as the more memory comes. You got more data in it. If you lose, I mean, not lose it, but if you break it, I mean, right? This this part, if you twist it, the whole drive is felt. It's not useless. And so if that's you don't why have a copy, it, yep, it's just a cover. Wait, can you open it again? I want to try. All right. Learn something new today. Again. Again. All right. For sure.